Hello, everybody. Welcome back to a wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure in Factorio. And guess what? It's version 0 0.15. Woo! This is the one I've been waiting for. Brand new one. So I did play this game a little while ago. So, well, a little while ago. I played it earlier today. And so now here I am recording. And I'm going to try something new. We're going to try a timer. So I might go over, but I'm going to try and keep these sessions to around 30 minutes. And I'm going to show everything because that's the best way of doing it, I feel. So there's going to be a lot of episodes basically every 30 minutes. And I'm going to have the music turned on in the game so you can enjoy that while playing. And yeah, so let's see what we can do here. So let's go new game. So they've changed a bunch of stuff i recommend going to their website to the factorio website to check out the change log because yeah there's just too much stuff i've just been waiting for there's a graphic overhaul there is a research overhaul there's now infinite research in the game which is kind of cool all that fun stuff and there's also a marathon mode so now recipes and technologies are more are harder there's a rail world where basically there's large i wonder what this does Ah, I see what this does. So basically what these do is these affect these two settings here. So that's what that does. So if I pick Death World, I think these might be tweaked a bit here. This time factor and stuff like that. And when I go Rail World, see the time factor is a lot, dif a lot different. Ah, that's fascinating. So you can actually mess around with, with all this kind of stuff. You can make things expensive if you want. So you can kind of do your own Kappa mode. So that is cool. So I wanted to pick the death world, but then when, when you look at the settings, this is what's changed within the death world, right? So then I thought the marathon world would be okay because everything else is set to normal. And we're actually going to change the crude oil to be very high and to be very good richness because there's never enough. And in the last game I played, it just it just wasn't enough. So, yeah, so without further ado, let us, and I think expensive, okay, uh, this stuff we're just going to leave the way it is, and we're going to see what happens, right? Right, okay, so let's, let's give this a shot, shabam. Oh, snap, now there's some, like, a tips and trick thing, that's kind of cool, you can turn them off. Oh, this is so cool. Two sides of belts explains basically basics about belts and stuff. That is so cool. That's awesome. So this is the Factorio free play. Your task is to launch a rocket into space. This has not changed. Okay. So here we are. We are in a game. Man, I've missed this. So graphics, they've changed the way the stone looks. They've added high, kind of like a high def graphic, I think. They've also added where you can move with this and zoom in if you have that capability. So there is a fog of war, but if you have the radar units, you'll be able to see. So that is kind of cool. Looks like there's uranium. Oh, and it tells you how much ore is. It? This is cool. And it tells you how much crude there is. Looks like there's a bit of crude. Okay, so first things first, we need to, we have a harvester on us here, a burner mining drill, and we have a stone furnace. Oh, they changed all these. They added in the gray in there. That's pretty cool. So this, first things first is we build ourselves a couple tools to speed up everything. Let's do a quick kind of run around here. These trees are going to be in the way, so we're going to have to chop them down. That's for sure. Uh, up here we'll find the uranium. Not sure what this is used for. This is probably going to be used for for the advanced power stuff. Uh, let's take a look at the research here. They've kind of... Ch Ooh! <laughs> atomic bombs. So they do have stuff like that. Yeah! We're definitely going to have to play with that stuff. Oh boy. Oh boy. Mining productivity. Automation. This would be the first one we would probably research as per usual. Um, optics will give us the solar energy. Turrets. That'd be useful too, as well with walls. Mm. But automation, that's the key. Oh, landfill, that's cool. They added the grass. Yeah, they changed the icons, that's for sure. Let's put that up there. We know we can't produce any of it. And we're just going to chop some trees down, because that's what we do. Oh, man, I miss this game. This game is so fun. You know, I've always played... 
a ton of hours. Like, I'm not sure how many hours I would have played with this game, but, man, I know I've logged in already 150 hours, 160 hours with the Steam version, and I haven't really played. I've only played recently just to to prepare for this version, for the, the point .15, which is awesome, or not, you thought, or was it not 15? Oh boy! Oh, this is so much fun. Okay, so basically we're gonna place one of these. We don't really need the copper though, and we need iron. So iron's actually up here, and we're gonna need a radar unit to definitely start scanning for our next iron deposit. And there's no coal. Wow, what's happened? This is a pretty crappy generation, and I didn't change any of the rules for that stuff. So that is interesting. Um. Oh boy, oh boy. So, so, okay, we got stone here, we got this here, we got this here. So maybe we'll utilize this area up here. Some stone here, let's kind of chop this down. So we're gonna have to use the trees as, I think, a fuel source here. Then we'll have to get, I guess, our typical array going for steam engines, and then we'll go from there, I think. So iron, we definitely need. This is your know, primo. Okay, we need more iron. Okay, so that's in place. And night times are going to be dark, so I apologize for that. I'm not even going to bother editing it because there is night vision in the game, and that will solve it. But at least you'll get to experience what it's like to be at night. And I think they've changed the darkness now. The darkness is back up, which is awesome. Uh, they kind of had the darkness, but then they they made it kind of too light. And so yeah, so then it didn't really work too well. We'll we'll tap into this copper here. Yeah, this is where we'll produce the next the next miner right here. Let's kind of zoom in here so we can see what we're chopping. Yeah, okay, this is Factorio, man. You know, this is one thing I like about it is just how you start. You start with with absolutely nothing, then you have to craft your way uh, to the next thing. So we need iron basically. And let's fill this up with some more fuelio. We're going to have to probably chop some more trees down. Can we make... No, we can't. We need some more iron. So, with that in mind, chop some more trees down over here. Because this is probably what we'll be tapping into. For the next little while, we're going to have a rickety, dinky type of setup here. Man, I hope I don't have to do too much editing. You know, I try and talk consistently, I try and talk properly, but you know, you know how that goes. We get lazy, and yeah, it's just the way it goes. <laughs> now, I'm not sure what you're going to learn from this whole series. It's just me playing your point .15, yeah. Um, just kind of experiencing the new build. It's out today, which is, what is it, Monday today? Yeah, April was it? I don't know. April the 24th. So that is pretty, pretty damn cool. Um, I do have a timer going, but yeah, I don't know. We'll see how we follow it. I have it set to silent, so I'm probably, I'll probably miss it. But yeah, we'll see. Now I'm doing this because I don't have any coal deposits nearby that I see. So we're definitely going to have to explore. But I think I want to use a radar unit. So. With that in mind, let's see, let's see, let's kind of fill up the fuel here, and fill up the fuel here, grab that, okay, so now we can build one of these bad boys, we can build one of those, because we need another furnace smelting down this stuff, we need some more fuel, <laughs> yeah, well... I can't wait to get away from this hand stuff. You know, to have robots kind of do all this. Oh, it's going to be exciting to see the the weaponry. There's some new weapons they've they've kind of created. They, they tweak the weapons a bit. With the unlimited research now, you can pump um, everything into there. So that's pretty cool. So you can kind of increase your damage over time. You're not bullet speed, they said, but that's fine and dandy. <laughs> I imagine this will be enough. Uh, perfect. Okay. See, these trees we'll have to get rid of as well. They're on the deposit. 
But now we have these, so let's start harvesting this stuff. Uh, put some there and put some here. Beautiful. Okay. Now up over here. So what's the next step? So the next step would be to create these boilers and these steam engines. That's kind of what's going to be happening. So let's make some more tools because we're using up the tools very, very quickly. We need to collect some more fuel. We need to collect some more plates. And I do want to make this thing as well, a radar unit. So, hmm. Well, we can make a boiler already, so let's, so let's, so let's actually pick up some stone. There's going to be stone here. There's stone. I like these little rocks here that we can harvest. Because it's just, it's a lot faster. Plus you get 20. So, at least I think it's a lot faster. Uh, and that should do us for a little while. There's a little thing there we'll have to tap into at some point. So I'm going to probably build, what, the steam engine array. Probably going up and down here. So let's... Let's take care of some trees because we usually do something relatively simple, right? So and we're gonna have to feed this thing with 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 trees. That's that kind of sucks because you only chop down trees so fast, right? So oh boy, oh boy, folks! I wonder how many mods are broken because of this <laughs> this update. Because I think they changed a bunch of coding stuff as well and modding things they added new triggers so the, all those people out there are going to have to learn how to do all this again which is pretty funny actually but you know that's what happens when games are in alpha you know this game's been alpha forever like <laughs> like look at i don't know there's a couple other games i have that i i purchased in 2014 and now we're in 2017 so and they're still in alpha you know there's a game called kenshi which is amazing but they're still working on it slowly, and I bought that game because of the potential that it's going to be. <laughs> but man, is it taking a long time, and I'm I'm quite amazed that the developers still continue to to develop the game. So we'll put the array right in here. We'll create a couple boilers. Where we need to make a pump. Um, how do we make the circuits? We probably need copper. Which means we need to deposit more fuel. So we'll see how much this has produced. It's already producing pollution. Of course we're producing pollution. <coughs> Why wouldn't we? Let's dump this all in here. Okay, perfect. That is doing well. 1.8 thousand. Okay. So now, if you remember, everything is going to... You have a lot more... Or the recipes are going to be expensive in this one if you rem if you you remember the initial settings. So yeah, that should be interesting to see how that goes, how that goes down. Oh, it's going to nighttime again. So this is where we'll kind of set up. We'll create a little thingy maboober here. I'm not sure what exactly we'll do, but we will do it. So we need to create an offshore pump. We need to create steam engines. So we need more iron. Oh boy, these need so much iron. So let's chop some more trees down here because fuel is the lifeblood of any kind of civilization. So what we're doing with our factory, we definitely need fuel. And I'm surprised there's no coal. I'm very shocked at the coal, actually. And there's nothing. I think it's all set to normal. So yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what happens in the marathon mode. I hope, yeah, I hope I didn't screw up somewhere, but <laughs> but that is okay. So I already built a pump, so we can actually, how can we do this? We'll probably put it up like this, and then, you know, these boilers. So basically, the new ratio is, is I think, one of these boilers can support two, so which means we need five of these bad boys, right? Which is, that's what we're producing. Then we're going to need to make these these steam engines, which will take a lot of iron. So, yeah, this is exciting. Exciting. 
So how are, how do these work exactly? Hmm. They are also a new kind of block. Two, three, four, five. Man, they're they're huge. I don't know which direction I want them in actually. If they're like this, we need to pick them up because the mouth yeah there we go so let's do a couple away and then bring these bad boys up like this man and I imagine we just dump fuel into here and these look so cool actually and yeah and that should technically work so we need what five pieces four pieces of a, a pipe one two three four Let's check this out. One, two, three, four. Okay, yeah. It, and it streamed into there. It doesn't say anything about water here. Oh, no, it does right here from the, in the bottom right-hand corner there. Okay, so then I imagine that we can make one, two more pipes. And this is where we're going to put the boilers. We're going to put them up in here. We're going to put ten boilers going in one direction and see if that... You, if the system can handle that, you know, kind of the good old way. If you remember, with the uh, where you put the you know, like 14 boilers or something, and, and then that did about 10 you know, steam engines. So it should be interesting to see how that goes. I'm just chopping down some trees here because we're going to need to deposit fuel. Oh yeah, it's non-stop with the fuel. As soon as you get started with fuel, that's it. It is Kaputski. Okay, 69 plates, nice. Let's see how many we have down here. Okay, so let's see here. Let's deposit some of those, deposit some of those. Okay, grab those plates. We might need to just stop this. I don't think I'll need to continue with the copper because we have enough copper now. So it's more just the iron. And can we make any steam engines? No, we cannot. Why not? Because we're we're out of plate. Man, look at that. 100 plate for each one. It tells you total raw down at the bottom there. That's cool. I don't remember that being in the other version, but maybe, maybe it has been. I don't know. Uh, let's make one of... I clicked on that, but it didn't make it. Let's make one of those. And the, we definitely need these burner inserters. Um, one, two, three, four, five... Because we have you five of these, so we only need one for each. I'm assuming. That is so cool. And we're going to probably put the fuel down the middle, and which means that we'll just yeah, just like this, and then we'll make some transport belt. Let's just use up all our resources. <laughs> we're gonna need. We definitely need to make more extractors probably. So which needs? I mean, I need more stone. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! 16 so let's see here if I do this there you go so that's kind of the idea what we're going to do and we'll put the steam engines kind of up in here we might need to of course harvest some more wood away here because this is definitely not going to fit not at all let's see here And you'll have to let me know in the comments if you find the music too quiet. I will turn it up. But that's kind of what makes this game what it is as well, is the music I find. It just has that ambiance and that feel to the game. Let's see here. I think that will be enough. Let's check this out over here. If I don't have enough plates, I tell you what. I'm going to come back when I have enough plates. So yeah, so I will see you in a moment. Perfect, we are back. So if you notice, I removed that stuff that was down here and I put it up here. And I just collected a little bit more wood and that's all you missed. So nothing really special. I collected a bunch of plates. If you press some control, I think the left click, you pick up the items that are in there. We're almost at the 200, so we'll make the one right now. Shabam! Looks like we can make the electric mining drill. I can also make the lab. And I think that's what we're going to do first, is make the lab. Because we need to get...
going on this research which takes copper plates and iron gears again we need iron so we might make one of those electric drills and we should probably make some of these poles 5 10 15 20 poles maybe to begin with it's because we're going to have power oh there we go here is a steam engine let's take a look at these bad boys so these are new so they always go the one way now it doesn't really matter so you only go two directions now and let's go shabam okay so that is it doesn't have any power of course so now as soon as we make some of these poles so there's going to be right here where are we going to put this probably right here right where the first pole is going to be placed and let's see here i was going to put the poles in the middle of each other something like this maybe two three four five i think something like that this of course needs power this of course needs to do stuff oh look at all these science packs so there's science pack one two three there's military there's production there's high tech and space wow so these you four are different you used to go up into the purple and another color but now yeah wow i'm just gonna take a drink here okay so let's see what we can do over here let's see we're gonna have to definitely expand this um, yeah, we can still use the middle mouse button, so let's drop some fuel, control, left click, we'll drop fuel into there, control, left click, we'll pick up, we only have 88 plates, oh boy, oh boy, so we do need to make some research, so 5, 10, 15, 20, still got a lot of copper, or still, still have a lot of plates, automation, is that the right research we should be doing, or should we do to a tool belt takes too long so automation will lead us into I think auto crafting stuff because we need to make where is it it's in here somewhere we basically need to do whatever it takes to make the the stuff right to make the the crafters whatever that is and I don't even know what they look like anymore because it's all new icons so it, usually you can click on here and it'll show you kind of what the available icons are but that is fine so we oh coverx oh really that's so cool um okay so we got uh, we're making some science packs let's dump some of this stuff we're probably gonna have to make some more a copper burner this is probably we're probably going to need more plates of copper I have a funny feeling we're going to burn through it, <laughs> of course. And we do need to make another steam engine and all that fun stuff. And I forgot to turn on my timer. So, yes, yeah, so this is going to be interesting. Interesting to see the timing of the video. So, we also need to make a box and uh, another burner inserter. This stuff's crafting away. Yeah, we definitely need to make... The production stuff so we're going to definitely need to make now so we're gonna to have to do automation and then after automation there is something to choose I just don't know what that is anymore it used to be fairly obvious it used to be kind of that crafter thing but now it looks like they've added it looks like they hit it with something so oh here we go right here there it is, assembly machine. So this will unlock the assembly machine, which is what we want. That's definitely what we want. So we want to throw these up there. What's this? Modules go down here now. This is so cool. I like how you how this looks. Okay, and then we need to test this bad boy out. So I want to put the box here with the burner down there, which means we're going to need more fuel. We definitely need to cut out some more of this stuff here because it's we've only got the five and if we're going to put ten in here then it's going to actually extend up quite a ways so we'll have to chop down some more of these trees for some fuel which is boring but hey this is what this part of the game is 
you know, the next half hour will be a little more exciting because we're going to probably get into some automation. I might get into kind of making that, you know, those miners there and then just kind of adding power to the system. And, yeah, then we kind of start on that whole thing. As long as we put power into the system, then, yeah. Oh, we should build a scanner. That's another thing we should build with this thing. Put the scanner right there and see what we can scan. Let's see what we can pick up here. Let's dump this stuff into here. Yeah, we're not going to pick up too much. Yeah, okay, so stone. Where can we find? Here's some more stone. Yeah, so I'm going to pick up some stone here so that way we can make another burner drill and another. Um, what is it? We need to make another tool. We need to make a burner drill and one of these bad boys. Okay. And what else do we need to do? We need more iron. <laughs> we need more iron. It's, it's never going to stop. So this thing we're going to set up back down with the copper. Because I think we're going we're starting to use up a little bit of the copper. Um, I'm going to have to make some more of those red packs. Enough for 40, right? So that way... Let's see here, we got one of these, and put one of these like that, uh, let's do half and half I guess, like that, and like that, like that, okay, beautiful, we'll let that do its thing, that is doing its thing, let's chop some more trees, uh, can we make a radar unit, yes we can, we can also make armor, which we should, just so that way we have armor. You know, it's kind of pointless to have the armor because, you know, by the time you engage the biters, you don't really, you know, you need the higher level armor anyways. But at least it starts you off with a pistol. And I'm assuming the pistol should be strong enough to kill off a biter or two if you saw them coming. <laughs> I don't know. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see how all those settings work too, right? So if I understood how all those biter settings and everything worked you know uh, maybe that would be a different thing so let's see here oh man oh man so I want to dump some more fuel want to take some more plates out 77 only oh man it takes forever uh, we have 37 plates uh, let's dump some fuel into here. Yeah, some fuel. <laughs> oh boy, we're gonna run out of trees. Let's chop up these trees down here. These ones are pointless. They're all by themselves. They won't really absorb much. Oh boy. I can see us kind of running out of trees. There's all these fishies in here looks like there's fish there fish there but i'm not going to pick them up because it's not really necessary unless we can cook them now that's cool because you used to be able to cook them and then eat them for health and whatnot kind of like your early uh, healing item so i thought that was pretty cool at the time so let's see here so let's see what happens once we add power the only bad part with this is we're going to have to run all the way around. So maybe we should make kind of like one piece of these. So that way, yeah, and then let's pick this up so we can run by. Like that. That's perfect. Perfect. I won't add one here. So now we're just going to put the box there. We're going to put the burner inserter like that. And then just boom, this is what we do. Let's see what happens here. So it looks like they feed themselves, and then they put one into, uh, they put two into themselves. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Is that producing power? Hmm. Okay, interesting, interesting. So, this is not going because there's not enough electricity yet. I don't know. We'll see what happens with the the water here. 
You need 20 more science packs. 5, 10. Okay, well, we'll let that do its thing. Uh, let's see here. Probably going to need more wood. Okay, let's do this. Let's chop up some more trees here. Check my timer, because I think we're almost up. Yes, we are almost up. Only a minute left in my timer. I have no idea. We'll see what we do with the footage. So, i tell you what, folks. Hopefully you'll enjoy this series. It's basically just going to be me mucking around with, you know, 0.15. And, yeah, you we're going to explore this, you know, this game. You see what kind of new stuff there are. See what kind of trouble we can get into. Let's actually put in... Um, a scanner here. So we don't have any power going. I wonder why. Is there like... Is there like an output? Oh, there looks looks like there's an output. Hmm. Um, that is new. So I might not be able to put the fuel where I want to, actually. Let's pick this up here. Because what's this stuff here? What is this? It's, it's like it needs a pipe. Where do I put that stuff? Is there like a steam vent? Uh, just kind of looking because I don't know what I'm going to do. How do you vent off stuff? Do you just do this? Wow. So is that dependent? So how do I get rid of the steam? Is there a valve? Oh man, oh man. Maybe automation is not the way to go. How do we... D oh, there's my alarm. There's my timer. Man, so we're going to have to figure out how to deal with this steam. This is totally new. And that is not... Oh! Snap! You think it, uh, this needs water? Or is it just... Oh, consume steam to create electric. Oh, that's new. So we actually have to hook up all of these pipes. So I'm going to actually hold on. I'm going to finish off with this, with getting this working here. Because that is, I want to get that working. <laughs> Hopefully you want to see me get it working too. So let's pick up the plates. Oh, that's so weird. That's totally new. So, yeah, so I should have paid attention to the inputs actually. Let's let this go up to 100 plates so that way it stops and this over here wow I didn't know there's steam I'm gonna have to redo the way this is all set up because I don't like this so do that and then if we do some more pipes 5 10 15 20 oh man this is so cool uh, like this shabam there we go now we got power okay but now we need to feed all this again. So, so maybe what we'll do is we'll do this. Put it like that. And then we'll put these like so. And then we'll put this. Oh, we need one more. Like that. And I think um, it might be too close to this one. Yeah, it's too close. So we'll have to do this. This. Which is okay. Because I can walk through here. And throw that all in here. Man. Okay, come on. Work, work. Let's see you work. So this will produce steam. Which will use this. Which will turn into that. Okay. Um, I think I need to make 10 more science packs. 5, 10, and then we'll have the 40 for the automation, which means, oh, this is so cool. Cool. Look at that. So there you go, folks. So thank you, everybody, for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this episode, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Bye-bye.